Hi, I'm G. And I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Band Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Good, good. No baby yet. No baby. But, so he was going to go to the bin, what, Monday and Tuesday, it's 4th of July, so there wasn't holiday, or there wasn't traffic. Right, I'm like, it's going to be smooth sailing to get to the bin, so I'll go. And then I was like, oh, I have to go too. I couldn't not go. <laughs> yeah. So, and they have places to sit there. So it was, um, you know, you I could take a break. I soared. I mean, you're a real trooper, so. Yeah. So I had to go. I couldn't not go because I just had to go, right? It's like and it was a good thing you went because you got killer good stuff. Yeah, we totally got good stuff. We scored over over those two days. We good did. Stuff, so. We got some high dollar stuff. We got some lot stuff that was really good too. Yeah. Um, we got all kinds of good stuff. So we were going to do a haul video to show you. Yep. Men's and women's. Put yes. it all together. Mix her up. Yep. Should we get into it? Might as well. Start with these big huge comforters that I put right on top. So you guys know I like the I like to get these Ralph Lauren comforters if they're you know, in decent shape. This one does have some spots. It has some yellowing on the white part. And I could spray it and probably take it to the laundry mat and clean it, but I think we'll just put it on like it is. I did. So Is I have clean? actually already oh, listed did? it. How much did you put this on? I for? think I put it on for like 50 bucks. So, because well, somebody trend. has one on um, for $79 or something yeah. that had a mended hole. So I'm like, okay, I'll put mine on for 50 bucks. It needs yeah. to be a good soap, probably an OxyClean. But, yeah. you know, again, our blankets are $2.25. Right. So that's... So, you're gonna pay that for a pair of jeans yeah. at our. And this is weight. this is almost ten pounds for yeah. this. Yeah, so it's heavy. If you, we had to buy this by weight, it'd we be wouldn't. Expensive. I wouldn't buy this by weight, well, unless I was at a bin that was maybe, a dollar. Maybe not that particular one. Yeah, maybe but, not. Uh, this one was actually a lot better, right? This one's a lot more rare. It's um, a Cosette Ralph Lauren floral. It's older. They're made in the USA. This one's a king size, too. And the last one that sold king size like this was $250. They're hard to come by. But this one did have a hole. It did. So I had my daughter sew it up. It doesn't look great. Because it was missing some But fabric. if you put that so, up in the corner, you're not going to see it anyway. So Because yeah, it was right on the corner. I don't know exactly where it's at. But, I don't, oh, it's oh, actually it's right, right here. here so. so she sewed it up. You know, if you have that down, it's, face down. It would down, be hardly even noticeable. Yeah. You know? And but again. It, it was sewn up. You, but. We paid two twenty five for this. So, I, and I listed it out for $100. The last one sold two fifty. I thought, then there's a duvet cover on, which is actually just the... Right. You have to put another comforter in it right. for three hundred nine. So hopefully hundred bucks. We should be one. able to sell that pretty easy for hundred bucks. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I mean, even though they have problems, we still pick them up for two dollars twenty five cents on the vintage Ralph Lauren ones. That's what yeah. I would do because and the pretty floral, right? Right. Some of those floral ones are really really hard to find, and they can bring a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, like these this black one. Somebody sold two king size pillowcases for ninety eight dollars. Really? For two pillowcases used, right? So wow. you got to keep your eye out for that. A lot of that Ralph Lauren stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just get into it. Just kind of mixed in here. So, and kind there's a lot of stuff. This tag, I yeah. should just stitch Probably it up. Probably put a little huh? stitch in it. Yeah. But it's Weston, which obviously is anthropology because it has yeah. anthropology tag. Forty bucks. But it looks like it's probably a return from anthropology because it doesn't have the numbers on the back. Oh. Um, but still. Yeah. It's a new attack. I would still list it new attack. I would just put in the listing that, you know, the back of the tag so they can see it. Some of these Lucky Brand purses. So you, does this go up or is it supposed to go down like this? I, I think it kind it of folds over like this. So then well, you goes have like that. it. Yeah. Okay. And this is a crossbody. You know, this is, I'm going to probably list this for about $40. Okay. It's a little bit heavy. Some of them are really good. Some of them it looked, aren't that good. Right? It was really clean inside. Italian leather. Really nice. It still smells really good. I know, me with my smell, but it still smells like really good leather. Okay. But again, on those Lucky Brand purses, a lot of them, some of them are good. Like the patchwork ones. Yeah. Len, like hobo style. 
So this was just soft surroundings. It's kind of like a crinkle silk. It's long too, huh? I thought they call it like a broom skirt, but nothing came up when I looked under broom skirt. So oh. I don't know. Hopefully I can pull up the number. If not, I'll just put mm -hmm, mm -hmm. crinkle. This is free people. What is this? This is cute. I don't know. It looks almost like a zebra print leaf. Hmm. We got, we got some free people. We got some Lululemon. But we just, we score some really good stuff. We got a bunch of stuff to put in lots. So we'll make a bunch of lots up. I still think we have some lots on. We do. We'll have to throw some other We're stuff gonna in We're going to throw there. some more stuff in them to get rid of those. And this is free people. I know. This is cute. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's cute. It's free people. I mean, I don't know what material or what you call it. It feels like wool. So talking about free people... I sent this dress out to auction, right? It had a mended hole. It's kind of dingy. It's at like 38 bucks. It ends today, but 30 I started at 3.99 or 4.99 and I said it has flaws. And it's like it I has can't spots even and so, Yeah, spots, so dinginess and a sewn area and it's at $38. I'm like, "What?" So we'll see what it sells for. Yeah, sometimes even with <laughs> issues some of that stuff is still good. So this these actually, I'm going to have to get something to actually, if you want to. Yeah, because these are like the sleeves for this. It's They're like, like hooked to this, which this is lip service vice. I don't even know. They make a bunch of different ones, but. But this is a geisha girl one. Yeah, so that'll And it has a out. bow in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I need to get some black ribbon and tie it on. Or we could just list it as is and see. But, but these things are good, right? Yeah, I mean, it looked like. 50 to 100 dollars some of them sold more than that um but i couldn't find one exactly like this a lot of the longer ones people liked okay that's cool these are cute lululemon yeah and they kind of fold over i think right and we have a fly in our house and it's really annoying ah <coughs> yeah he found a whole bunch of lululemon yeah we did get quite a bit Okay, this is something that was weird. I just seen it, picked it up. I wasn't sure what it was. It was new. I'm like, it's kind of cool. So he's like super fudge, super Judy fudge. Bloom. I'm like, Judy Bloom, the author. You know who she is? No, I have no idea. He didn't know. I don't know. But I guess maybe as a girl, because I would read Judy Bloom books back when I was younger. And apparently so, I didn't. But I guess you didn't. You probably wouldn't, because they're kind of girly books, right? Maybe not well, super fudge, but this is their tag, huh? It's not like signed. It's like I don't it's even know. It's like it out of print. So I think it's out of print books, and then this yeah. company makes T-shirts like with the cover of them, right? I mean, but there's nothing of this. Right? There was nothing out of print Judy Bloom T-shirt or Judy Bloom shirt. So we'll see what happens. I ha we had to get it because there's some things that we took a chance on. That's one of them. It's pretty light. Doesn't cost that much. Right. But it should be. Pretty good. I it's kind of cool, right? And we got some other things that were a little outside the box. Some librarian or something would want that t-shirt. Okay, I have no idea how this even goes <laughs> or anything. But I'd have to look it up. It's some kind of tank top. Yeah, something. It's layered. It's, it's weird. Inda. So, Inda. I-N-D-A-H. It's upside down. Now. Something like that. A lot of this is really expensive. Well, this says $215, so you can Seriously. tell it's pretty expensive. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yikes. But I, Who buys this and then gives it away? I This is some kind of like inner layer. I don't know. What, whatever. I don't know. We'll have to figure it, it out. Is it worth 50 bucks or? I don't know. I mean, I sold a sweater that wasn't new. I sold it for $35. So I don't know on a tank top that's new. Okay. This was cute. Rebecca Taylor. It's like an off shoulder. The cutout on silk this is so silk. cute. Dress. Okay. This was something that I didn't even know what it was, but it the tag just looked expensive to me. And it's kids. We don't do it's a lot of kids. It's just kids. I I what I just picked it up. It looked cool. It had snakes. The tag looked expensive. So I look up the brand. I never heard of this brand. I don't know why because I have a bunch of kids. You'd think I would hear these brands, but but we don't do much. But I guess kids, my kids so. wear gr animals or whatever is from Walmart or Target, right? Or whatever they get. They from usually the bin. wear whatever they get from the bin. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Hannah Anderson once in a while from the bin, but 
So, yeah, these look good. Like, somebody sold a little tank top with this snake on it for $25. Yeah. For just a little tank top. That's I don't know on this shirt. So, I don't know if that's a pajama top. I don't know. Never heard of it. Okay, here's an outside the box thing that she picked up. She's like, what do you think of this skirt? It's Ann Taylor, but it's really vintage-y. It's silk. But it has... And I said... When she said, what do you think of this? I'm like, I don't know. You think it's good? She's like, maybe. I'm like, well, I've seen the top. So then I ran over and got the top. It was in a different bin. I saw, I, I seen the so top. So we got the whole set, set. But it has skeleton keys all over it. Yeah. That's why I, I not because it was Ann Taylor or anything, because it's older. But it's 100% so. I know, but I've never even seen an Ann Taylor tag it's old. like that. I'm sure it's probably early 90s. I'm not sure, actually. Early 90s. But it's 100% silk, made in Korea, so it's old. But is vintage Ann Taylor good? <laughs> Some I mean, of these Ann Taylor Studio silk things actually sold pretty decent. Okay. Nobody had any novelty print like this. I mean, these keys, you guys, they're really cool. Somebody that collects keys will want this. This will be something we probably send out to auction. Cause I will, because I don't know. And we'll let you know, know how any. that goes, if it sells. Sometimes... It's light enough. Sometimes I'm like, outside the box like that, it doesn't sell. It doesn't. But the print on it makes me think it's going to sell. Yeah. Who knows for how try. much, but... It's just free people. Just a little tank top. Cute. We'll, we'll mix things up and try different things from time to time. If you see, get something like that, it's like something different. Let's try it. And a lot of the stuff we're getting that's lighter weight, too, we're actually packing up and going to bring with us. Right? Well, just some of it. Just a few bras and stuff. But I made a lot of lots of bras and got rid of most of them, stuff like that. But some of it, so that way, like, we, when we do move, I don't have to feel like, oh, we got to run out and get inventory. Right. We'll bring some with us, like we did when some. we moved here. Some, just a few things. Okay, so Banana Republic. Yeah, and it's still with Tag. This thing was really heavy. I don't know that it's really good, but. But it has this like crossover y front. And it's, it's like long, a wrap. Right? I think it's going to be perfect right. for fall. So I'll list it out. Somebody will buy it. Hopefully. Well, that's usually the plan. So these are American Apparel. We each got a pair of them. Yeah. And they're just like not cover very much of. What yeah, there's, have I don't there, remember. So. They're like hot shorts or something that they're called. What? And again, some of the American Apparel is like hit or miss right now because they're not making it. So you can't just buy it on their website. So if somebody had a pair of those shorts that they really wanted more. So these are Grow... What Grovia. is Grovia. Grovia. If you see this brand of cloth diaper, pick it up because they it, sell well. they have well. prints like this, are even, they're way better, right? Right. I mean... Somebody sold a used one like this. Wasn't it used? It was $15 or was it $25? I don't remember. I don't remember either. <clears throat> I think it was $25. But so you watch out for those Grovia because they're actually a really good expensive. Yeah. They have a following. They're like. We'll put these two together for 20 bucks probably just to get rid of them. And, yeah. Right. Okay. I would keep them, but. I, I can't cloth diaper. I don't know if it's the laziness in I me. I got you a bunch and you don't ever use it. I have some. And then maybe I'll try it again with this one. <laughs> it's just hard to get them in your size. Okay, not me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, for the baby. Oh, right. goodness. Okay, I, what do we have here? Organic John Patrick. So one of my really good friends. Her okay. brother's name is John Patrick. That's funny. Anyway, I never heard of this brand. This is cashmere, no? I don't know what. No, it's 90% merino, 10% cashmere. See, it's part cashmere. It feels really soft. So some of this stuff was really good, too. Organic by John Patrick. Some of it was really good. So we got that. It's a cute sweater. has pockets. Okay, so this is kind of weird. So some of the stuff didn't look great on this. I mean, it's Juicy Couture, right? But it is, but it's not. It's Bird, right? Bird by Juicy Couture. Yeah. But it's 100% cashmere pants. They're funky, though, because they have this. You have to wear it down because they're too long. Yeah, see? So it buttons in the back, so it goes like this, I guess. But then it has these. So you must have you must roll them up because they're really long, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but they're and really cool. it has cool. these 
big, huge pockets. I this. I, I never seen. You but one hundred percent cashmere pant things. Somebody's gonna want those. These. This has some fuzzies. Yeah, it, still got it, it does. I wish it was a men's. <coughs> got that little guy. A men's seam seam. Art Art Tarek. Is that how you say it? I'm not really sure how to say it, but that's how we say it. I like un or defuzz it a little. These are really expensive new, but they're not and years super great ago, for women. When you'd find one, it would be like, oh, I totally scored, right? Yeah. Now, it seems like we only find women's. Yeah. But they're still good. It's still expensive. Okay, this is a free people jacket. Look at this. It has kind of like a ruffly trim on the bottom and a belt. Yeah. That's the it's belt cute. Attached, so it's, it's got like that military... Almost it's green cool. color. Yeah, and then look at the back. It has a button here, like back there. I don't know. It's weird. And pretty heavy, too. I know. It was heavy. <coughs> Excuse me. So is this a men's or is this a woman? I think it's a woman's because it buttons on the women's side. Standard. James Purse. purse. Um, it's just a jacket. I think it's probably organic cotton. Size 3 is big, right? I think that's like a large. It just says 100% cotton. But it's a nice, you know, just standard jacket. No. <laughs> okay, I had to get this because it was different too, right? Yeah, it is weird. Like, was this worn to like a premiere? Was yeah. this worn to like, I don't know. The fourth film by Quentin Tarantino, Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. I, it's it, like, she could have worn this to lady in the I, I don't even know who she is the actress maybe Uma Thurman oh right that's who it is yeah I knew that I didn't know that yeah no so but it's like I don't know what is, it's not a costume it's not yeah and it's like what is the tag it just says small so it's like what is it we don't know there's no other tag you have to it has to be some kind of promotional item maybe maybe it I, came there's not one on right there's not one on like that I googled I couldn't find one like that I don't know. Now here's something else weird. We like to get we evidently we got a bunch of weird stuff yeah. too. Well, this is limited edition of forty of these. Yeah, right? this is forty of forty. Yeah. Annika M. Nelson. She's a native Southern California. I don't know. So Lou Sater collection. No idea what it is. No idea either. But it's like organic cotton. It says, decorate your soul. It's kind of cool. I, I guarantee it was it really expensive. Seriously, right? But maybe no one bought it. That's why. If they only made 40 of them. Maybe. And I actually have two. I got yeah, one, you, one new with tag and one not new with tag. But we'll take a chance on that kind of stuff. So this was just a scarf, but you said it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Armand um, Diradorian. 100% cashmere. It's got to be Armenian with his last name. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing fancy, but... But some of those scarves were like 40 50 bucks, so we picked it up. Okay. I love Betsy Johnson. It doesn't sell. So I wiped it off. Do you still see it? I had a little spot on the no. front. I just wiped it off. Yeah, no, I don't Was see it. it. Gone? It's gone. Okay. Yeah, Betsy Johnson. But this is cute. It has. It's not really her like signature style of something, and it is like a newerish tag, so it's not yeah, like super great. But it's. But it has sequins all over. It's like this dark, you know, red maroon color, and it has like mesh cutouts, so they're kind of see through. It's cute. Okay. I think we've had these before. Yeah, it's. This Jackie is just Robinson. like something they give away. I think for bank of america maybe or I, I don't know but i think we've so. had a few of these but they actually sell pretty good yeah like 30 35 bucks i think jackie robinson says 1955 yeah so if you can't find one of his jerseys you can get that yeah, one i always grab them <laughs> it's too bad this didn't say filson yeah this is uh just levi's right but it's like wax cotton it is it is a coated wax cotton but people have like the same jacket that's levi but it has a little tag inside that says filson and those right? are made by filson it's like a fil it's like something? a collaboration yeah but they're like 500 dollars. yeah they were like three for. to 500 bucks this unfortunately doesn't have the filson tag so yeah. it's probably only like 50 75 bucks 
Yeah, but, but it's still a you know trucker jacket like a, or whatever. People and it's are two X. It's really big, so sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not. So this we've actually had before. We have had them. Do they have a Me size? Me undies. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like printed in there. And the last so. pair I sold. I think I sold it for $35, but maybe now I sold it for $25. I'm not sure. But nope. they're pretty decent. They are. What are they? They're like lounge pants, but now it's like, are they men's? Yeah, they're men's. They're just like lounge jammy pants, but they're supposed to be like super soft and really comfortable. Um, I mean, I don't know. like $25, $30. Bucks, they sell. Yeah. <coughs> Adidas. I it's always nice. pick up Adidas. If they're real, I mean, they make Adidas. It doesn't say Adidas like on the tag or anything. It'll say maybe Adidas on it somewhere. You can tell they're fake. They'll just have a tag down that says the size or something. Right. This is clearly not And it's fake, like really you know? nice. But what's the guy's name? I don't know how it is. Ozil? Ozil. I'm not sure what his first name is. I don't know either. But it's a really nice jersey. Long Somebody sleeve. had one. I think they sold the same one for fifty dollars. There was like only that. one long sleeve. Yeah. So. I, I love to get those soccer jerseys like that. I know, me too. You know, Adidas, Nike, things like that. Right. Okay, so this. Patagonia. But it has like this, you know, like pick thing. You know, if you're hiking or not hiking, but climbing or whatever. What's that called? Right. It's a pick, oh. right? Uh, pickaxe. Okay, so a lot of these Patagonia things that have something, like they make a hat with this, or they have some kind of thing on the front of the t-shirt or sweatshirt, are usually more sought after than just the plain ones. Some of their... Some. S- some of their stuff is really, really collectible. Like, we had a hat. What was even on the hat? I don't remember. Do you remember what it was? I can't even remember what it was. I can't remember. But we had a hat. We got three or four hundred dollars for it. Well, somebody wore it in a movie. Yeah. Whatever his name was. So some of them are really good. Nobody had this shirt. Somebody had a hat. I'm going to try it. See what happens. So I picked this up. And I didn't really know what it was. But I could see this part. And it looks like a Patagonia type jacket. It totally does. You know, when it was laying in the bin. Because we can't touch this stuff. Well, not supposed to touch this stuff until they bring the we last We don't one touch the stuff. Right. There you go. <laughs> but some other people do. Rude. That's what I thought it was. And I was standing in front of it. Then I got it. And that's not what, what it was. Because it's... Well, it's 180S. So 180 S, yeah. Is the manufacturer. But it's a Marines combat desert jacket. Seriously, we look it up because usually these military jackets, eh. But know. some of them are good. If you have the right ones, they're good. But yeah, but usually, I don't know. This one, people sell these $150, $200 used. Used for these jackets. So if you were in the Marines, you got one of these. If you were over um, in Iraq, or yeah. <laughs> you make a quick uh, $150, $200. Bucks. So I was glad he picked that up. Yeah. <laughs> This, of course, I want to steal, but... It's just a sports sack. It's not pretty or anything. What? I love the sports sack. That's another thing I love, is the sports sack stuff. It's just a plain, basic, black, classic mm. backpack. It has, I like, pockets here, there. I don't know if it's called a Voyager mm. or something. I'll have to do a little more research. But, you know, the sports sack has a following, too, so we usually will pick that up. <clears throat> and then this... Another. This, it's like no one got this. Just sitting on top of the bin. It's like really, really nice condition. But does this say no? Okay, so this is the retro X fleece. You know, yeah. it's the high pile. And it's a men's. Unfortunately, it's a men's extra small. But I think this is a rare color because I couldn't find one in this color green. Well, I mean, this is fifty, sixty dollars, even though it's an extra small. Right. Maybe even a hundred dollars. I mean, and some woman might buy it, you know, instead of a man too. So yeah, I don't know. so I love these and the fact that 
No one picked them. Because we actually, you picked up another, we already sold it. I got another Patagonia. It was just like a soft shell jacket, but it said Herbalife on it. Right. You know, I looked it up. I'm like, hey, this looks pretty good. Because usually when you find a jacket that has another thing on it, it's sometimes like hit or miss. But I'm like, hey, this looks pretty good. I put it on for 45 bucks. Yeah, and we sold so it. The next day. Yeah. So that was another thing we got at the bin this weekend. Already made 45 bucks back. Right. So that was pretty good. All right. Well, we got some more stuff here to show you, so we'll get to that. Okay. okay this more is stuff. another outside the box type thing, I, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know it. that it's good, but it's <laughs> something that not everyone has. It's upside down. Well, so this upside. is like the art. The artwork is what like I saw it. I'm like, that is really cool looking, right? So evidently, it was. This is the invitation for Entertainment Tonight and People Magazine. Um, their Emmy party for 2008. What it says for, what did it say? Walt Disney. Concert. It was at the oh, Walt Disney. The That's where it was. It's a 2008 Emmy Awards party. But this was the invitation for it. Correct. So I found the information on it. This company made that invitation. So this was sent out. And now I think we'll probably, we'll get an invitation to the one for this year. Probably now. Yeah. Right. Because right. it's new. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know, like stuff like this, like S living some celebrity here, got this with clothes or something in this. I imagine. I, I don't know. It's like a clothes bag, right? Right. It, it's like a yeah. I it just like stuff like this. Like I don't know. Do you get it? Do you not get it? I don't know. I had to get it. It's cool. I mean, the artwork in itself is really cool. cool. Entertainment Tonight, People Magazine also says Walt Disney Concert Hall on it. Plus the Emmys. I mean, somebody might want it. You can only get it if you were invited to, to the their Emmy party, party which right? I'm assuming you probably had to be pretty famous or semi-famous to go to their party, right? I guess. I saw pictures from the party. You did? Who was yeah. there? Well, a whole bunch of people were there. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, this I just seen laying there, too, and I'm like, this is funky, and I like funky stuff, so I grabbed it up. I didn't know what it was, and then when I saw this logo, I knew it was... Fabletics. Correct. But unfortunately, no tag on the inside. Right. So I listed it out. I measured it. You can't get it on their website anymore. It was $65. Nobody has one on. I think I put it on for like $35. Okay, this. I, I was pretty excited to get this as well. It's a cool dress. And then I looked at the style. Right. I didn't know how cool it was when I got it. But it's made well. It's new with tag, and size large. Totally sold out, right? The only one on right now is $190, and it's size small or extra, extra small. Or ex said, extra yeah. small or extra, extra small or something like that. Super small, right? Nobody has sold a large one, no. and the ones that no have one sold used, like 125, 112, 76, but they were all teeny. This is a large. I put out for 150 bucks. 150 bucks, yeah. That's going to pay for almost everything we got the whole I know. weekend. Like, right? It's so cute, too. But you just put it out, too. And there was like 63 people had looked at it. In like, like 20 minutes. Was it even that long? I don't even know if it was 20 minutes. And it got watchers. We've never had anything get no. that many people look at it that fast. And it just must I be somebody, ha you know, people have it set, made well, Casita whatever or whatever that's called so then it comes up on their phone like oh hey somebody listed one i don't know i don't know he got a whole stack of lululemon this is just because you got three pairs of these yeah but um one i actually pairs. put these two together so this is like a blue diamond dot is what it's called this is like a cocoa peak the design on them of Wonder Unders. I just put the two together for a hundred bucks. Yeah, right? I listed them yeah. out for a hundred bucks. I mean, they're pretty nice. I got a black pair too that's not as nice, but... They don't have the rip tag. They do have the size dot. Let me talk about that really quick. Okay. If you find Lululemon without a size dot, um, the, I don't think that... It, most people that like, like Lululemon, I don't think that's going to like scare them away. Oh, it doesn't have a size dot? I don't want it. Or it doesn't have a tag? Just make sure you list the measurements. They'll know if that's going to fit them or not. You know, and they're over at Instagram, too. There's lots of people over there. You can be like, oh, this is what it measures. You know, anybody have any help with what size? Or there's 
um, Pinterest or whatever. You can look at blah blah. There's my little rant. Sorry. Okay. There you go. Sorry. And I got a whole bunch of it. I got some I can put in in lots. We're gonna make another exercise lot. We did because we got a whole bunch of plus size stuff. I'll be able to make a lot. I'm gonna put a bunch of lots out today for sure. And we made up some lots, so that's why we're not showing you everything we got because we made up a whole bunch of lots. And I haven't even put them out yet, but they're gonna go out today, hopefully. This was nice, like a Vince um, color block. <laughs> it's like alpaca. Yeah, wool, wool, alpaca, yak, cashmere, whatever it is. Yeah. I think I put that out for 60 bucks. 60 bucks. I like to go and get these high dollar things. And this, we don't normally get uh, wetsuits, okay? Because I don't, I we don't test them. And I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I don't see anything wrong. And then the person gets in as a whole. Plus they're really heavy, things like this that is true. as well. But this is Patagonia, and we've been getting a lot of this, and we don't know. normally find it here at all, but we've been getting a lot lately. But these things are really good. So, but this is kind of dirty. And it whatnot. had a few we sent little, it out to auction. It had a few little like pulls on the chloroprene or whatever. It's not neoprene or whatever it is. Um, there was a few little things areas, so they didn't go all the way through. They didn't seem like they leak, but... Yeah, but this is like wool on the inside. It these is, things yeah. have to be really expensive. They are. So, I mean, a lot of these sell for a couple hundred bucks, They right? do. I sent it out to auction starting at $14.99. Doesn't have a bid yet. Has a bunch of watchers, so we'll see what happens. Okay, okay now, I was super excited about this, Here's the thing this, that okay? you got that was... Well, I saw the velvet. I'm like, oh, it's so cool. What is it? And this I, seems really ugly to me, but... He's like, I wouldn't even get this. I don't think I would get this. And I'm like, what? I would get this now, but... I'm like, it's Tom Ford. He's like, who's that? <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. what? I was so excited when I found it, you guys. So celebrities wear this. And we found in the pocket, actually, the tag. And the pockets are actually... These front pockets are actually still sewn up. So it's brand new. And the tag was on the inside pocket. It's like somebody took the tag off, put it in the pocket, hung it in the closet, and then gave it away. Yeah. We still have fireworks. Fireworks still going off. Yeah, the fireworks show will start after this. So the tag. So $3,590. What? Who buys that? But then it was on clearance for... That's the original twenty five hundred or something. Two thousand six hundred ninety two dollars on clearance. On clearance, right? Yikes! I was super excited to get it. I didn't know what to do with it. I looked it up, and the one that didn't sell last, somebody had it on for twenty two hundred dollars used. So I listed out for nine hundred dollars best off or best offer. Yeah, and we haven't sold it yet. So we haven't. I have a bunch of watchers on it. Well, there's like four or five people watching it, but. We'll see what happens. It's, we, we also just sent it out. So. I thought at first, I'm like, oh, this has to be good for like 200 bucks. So I was like, okay, I found my, you know, couple hundred dollar item. I was all excited. I told him, I'm like, I found my item. <laughs> That'll uh -huh. pay for the whole trip. But hopefully we can get a little more than that. Yes. Okay. This next, I'm going to show you the whole lot. This is going to be a lot. What number should we make it? What do you know? Oh, what I don't know what number there? we're on. Okay. Well, this. It's going to be like 86 or 87. Okay. Okay. So we'll say 87 and we'll make it that. Okay. So we're going to show you everything that's in lot 87 because we haven't put these out. Because we got all this stuff and so we are going to, we put it all in a lot. And you know, there is some other people that started doing some wholesale lots and some people are cheaper, but I don't, well, for one thing, they don't list out what they're putting in it. I'm it's not just, sure what they're putting in. You it's just mixed. get this, but I bet you're not getting the same quality. And of, I don't know that. Of brands. Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, but I... I, I want to buy one and see what. <laughs> yeah. I try to put good stuff in there that you can sell and make good money off of. So okay, so we have like $3 and $5. On the $5 ones, we're hoping... Okay, if... You, I mean, it's I say it's $5, but that's just what the average is. Because some of the stuff is, you know, more... I would... It would be worth more than that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But so hopefully $5, you can turn it into 15, 20, 30 bucks. Right. And some even higher. Right. So that's what we, um, that's what we would list the stuff out for. Right. 
that's what I'm trying to say, I guess. Right. Okay. Okay. And we put them on Macari. And it's fifteen dollars so shipping. Okay. Right. Okay. Ann Taylor, modern. Just black, really cute. But they're jeans, right? Are they jeans? Is that they're not jeans. They're, they're like pants, jeans. but they're stretch. They're um, but those kind, they have a following on those. And a lot of that Ann Taylor stuff is actually better over on Poshmark. So if you're a Poshmark seller. Yeah. So this isn't an item that I actually got now. We actually picked up a whole bunch of these. American Apparel. New Attack, American Apparel. So there will be one of those in the lot. As you can see. J. Crew. And I looked up the style of it. It's like a waffle knit sweater. Um, and it has like different colors on it. It looked pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And cute. Very cute. Uh, Desidual, or I'm not sure how to say it. I'm just going to guess that. But it's like a blazer jacket. It's a really cute style. I don't know what that says. More. <clears throat> I don't know. It has all this something. embroidery on it i'm not sure if this one was made. and some of these are quite good right yeah i mean and this one is cute with the embroidery on it yeah it, it seems like the funkier it is the better okay and that's pretty funky yeah okay let's see in here made well this is a really cute sweater it feels like some kind of blend of something probably it's viscose nylon wool and alpaca okay and made well. These look, look pretty how good cool too. These are. I love camouflage, and there's camouflage in these. Miss me. So some of the miss me jeans, you know, they're not as great as they used to be, but the camouflage ones, I looked these up. They're still selling for 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. So. And you know, they're a decent shape. Why well, they're like factory distressed right. anyway. This brand looked actually pretty good when I looked up because I'd never heard of it. I, I'm not sure if it's a swim cover-up sweater, but it has these pleats on the back. Mm -hmm. Really cute pockets. So what is it? It's Myrtlewood of California. Okay. Show you that. And some of that stuff looks pretty good. These are cute. They're just vineyard vines. Yeah, vineyard vines. Oh, they do say by that chef and whatever. Yeah. In the end. But they're just starfish, right? Yeah, he's like, it's Patrick all over them. Mm -hmm. This I threw in. Um, these we actually had. We didn't get this this weekend. but This shirt is cute. It is really cute. Yeah. I should take it It has like feathers It is really it. cute. And these are quite good, right? What do you say? I don't know. Tina Turk? Trina. Trina. Sorry. They're kind of like a trouser pants, so they're a little bit wider leg. Yeah. Classic, you know, career pant. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, what else did you get? I don't know. This is Lauren cute. Ralph Lauren. But it has like this, um, what do you call this design? It's not a batik. I don't even know. I can't even think it on the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the eye cat or whatever it's called. Whatever that design is. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, so Pendleton. Pendleton. You know, this is a newer style. Not vintage, right. Yeah, it's a newer style. Some of the stuff is hit or miss on Pendleton, but this is actually a really cute jacket. It's a modern well, cut. Well, it's new with tag. I mean, I don't think it has the price on it, but... It's definitely I a guarantee modern, it's pretty expensive. And too. it has like this yeah. cute design on the edges. Okay. What do we have here? I have no idea. Bowden. So that's like the women's mini Bowden, right? Right. And it's a really cute blouse. Cute, cute. It almost looks like some of those are little hearts. Yeah. But maybe not. Maybe just dots. So this is match. But it's from Nordstrom. It's 100% linen. And again, I would still tag. list this new a tag, okay? I'm not going to not list this new a tag because some of it's missing. I would list it new a tag. Okay. And take a picture of the tag so they can see. <laughs> yeah. 100% linen dressy thing? Yeah, and a lot of these, this match linen, you know, has kind of a following. Okay. 
Patagonia. <laughs> yeah, we did get a bunch of that, didn't we? Yeah. And this is like snap. It's cute. Kind of a western. It's it has like pearl, pearl snap, Organic. So. It's hemp and organic cotton. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, it was like Patagonia weekend. Okay, so this is weird. So no, this goes up in here. It's like the lining okay. of it. It's that. expensive, but let's see. What is it even? For? Pronto Moda Goosey. I don't know. Made in Italy. Goosey, but, huh? <laughs> I'm not saying it right. Okay, oh. so it goes something like this. Ah. Well, it can't go like that because the sleeves are this way. So. Okay. Well, the sleeves go like it kind that. Kind of goes like that or something. But it has right. these sheer sleeves, you know, with the banded. Button. Um, wrist. Blue tag. Ice blue. It's cute. So is it good? I mean... Yeah, I mean, that brand, some of the stuff is really good, some of it's not. It's hard right now on eBay. It's so. that way with anything. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia Stife. I think that's how you say it. This feels really soft. What is this made out of? I don't know. I don't, I don't pick up everything of this brand. Okay. But... This is a nice classic mm -hmm. skirt. I it's feel, in there somewhere. I feel weird like looking up the skirt. Yeah, right. So I won't. <clears throat> this is Banana Republic. But it has like the Peter Panny collar, stripes. Usually Banana Republic, J. Crew, if you can find something with a stripe, a cute collar, that stuff's pretty good for 15 And some of it bucks. is really good. This is inside that one, actually. It was skirt weekend at the bend, too. Yeah. We don't usually get a lot of skirts, but... But this is all one lot that we put together. We made up several lots. We'll send them out. They send them out later tonight. Yeah. I got a doctor's appointment, so I got to do that. Mason Scotch by Scotch and Soda. This is a hit or miss brand, too, but the print on this skirt and the style of it is super cute. But it's expensive, right? It is expensive. What do you got? I'm not sure. Something new. Zara. It is Zara, but Zara. it's a very cute sweater. Lightweight sweater with these like... Big armholes. Is it like dolman sleeve or something? I'm not I good at all these different sleeve, bat weave. I'm not good at that. Bat weaves. Okay. Philosophy... Brand dress, but it has this like gathering over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Great classic black, black. dress. So if you see that. And what are these? These are just from Kohl's. They're just yeah. Sonoma, but they're still, I mean, fifteen bucks on these. Right, new tag. They're cute little shorts. Good time for that. That's what I would list them out for. Okay. And Club, Club Monaco, Monaco, but it has like a Victorian looking collar. I don't know if I have it right though. No, it goes up. Oh, it goes up. I think it goes up. Okay. It's we'll really like uh, Victorian looking. The style of it is very cute. I didn't look up comps on this exact shirt. Okay. And let's see. I wanted this dress. It's so cute. It's Ann Taylor Loft. But it's an extra large, right? It's extra large. And it's hard to come by, you know, Ann Taylor extra large items. And this dress, look how cute it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, I love it. All right. And I think that was not it. I thought it was it, but it wasn't. We're still going. We're Looks still like we going. Two more. Okay, so this was really... Oh, yeah, I was just thinking, we didn't get very many dresses in this lot, but look at here, a dress, right? This is a dress, no? Diane von Furstenberg, it's 100% silk, it's sheer, it's a really cute print to it. Look at the lace, like, on the sleeves and stuff, it's so pretty. Yeah. So you would just wear, like, a slip dress underneath it? Yeah, because otherwise, you can see right through it. Well, I would hope you'd wear something you'd underneath wear something it. wear something under it, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... Pretty good. Right? Yeah, I would probably, myself, I'd list that out for 40, 50 bucks. Maybe. This, too, okay, so Chico's, we don't get all the Chico's we see. This is new, though. It's a, a newer new, tag. 
It is size one. But look at how cute it is. But, okay, so this style of dress with the beading on it, some of these used even still are going 35, 40 bucks on these. So right. that's what I would list it out for. There you go. So that was one of our wholesale. That lots. is one lot that and we're going to put I together. I list out pictures. everything. So you can see the pictures. You can out. also see and what's new and what's not new. So right. there you go. We list out every single thing and say. It's because I can just sit there and put my feet up. Right. So they don't swell up super bad. And then he right. tells me what everything is and I can list it out on my phone. So it yep. actually works out pretty well. It does. Yeah. Yes. But we do have to go because I have a doctor's appointment today. So okay. I need to get doing that. Well, you already went to a doctor's appointment yes, today. I know. Two in one day. Yeah. Well, the one they go and they check everything, make sure. Okay, they don't want to hear all that. Oh, they check the baby. Or well, I don't want to hear all that or something. And they just check the heartbeat, make sure everything's fine. You know, when I was having all these contractions, they're like, oh, they're only three minutes apart. Don't you want to stay? No, no, I don't. And then I come home. Because she home. wants to come home and do a video. Yeah, that's right. it. I got to come home. I got to list some stuff. I got to do a video. I got to list some more stuff. I got to list lots of Macari. I got to yeah. get my work done. Then I can go into labor. Busy girl. Then you can have the baby. Yeah. And then I'll go back to the bed next week when I have to have the baby. I doubt that. I don't know. Well, maybe I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun this weekend or this Monday and Tuesday that we and went. And just really good stuff. You know, it's... You really want to go when you go get good stuff like that. It's like, shh, I, I know, want to right? go again. <laughs> I know, but what can you do? It was well, we're going to have a baby, so Sometime. we'll work on that. We'll see. We'll probably still go to bed this weekend if I haven't had the baby. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, hope you guys are having good sales, getting some good stuff. If you have any questions, let us know. I put my email down below. Yeah, she probably won't answer them, but... I, I, I need to answer. I'm very behind on answering any questions, so I do apologize about that. I'm bad. I'm really yeah. bad. Tell him he should answer them. He reads them all to me while I'm sitting there. Yeah, I, I always And I should them. just tell him, here, say this <laughs> to answer, huh? I could. I could go through and, and answer And all the them, comments, they're so nice, you guys. Thank you so much for yeah, commenting and all the support and everything. We really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you. Not only to all you guys that watch, but I also want to say thanks to Fireboy Rye, who um, oh, he's records, filming us. Yes. records all of our videos for us, and uh, he has a YouTube, he does Minecraft. And, he does. We, we're like a YouTube family. You know, we have, I guess my sister, or one of her kids has a YouTube too. Yeah. These kids like to make We're videos. not very good at it, but uh, we still do it's it. It's fun, so. right? <laughs> it's always fun. So yeah, Fireboy fire Rye, right. thank you If so we much. can just help one person, then there you go. There you go. That's all that matters, right? I like helping people. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's it. We're sweating. Yes, it's hot. So we're going to go. I hope you guys aren't sweating. Hope you're having a great day, getting good stuff, having good sales. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, that'd be great. Pick outside the box. Thanks, guys. Pick inside the box. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you.